Here's a quick video on how to make these fun little tissue flowers, which you can put on baskets or bags or whatever. So it is, in a nutshell, just pretty beautiful tissue paper like this. And you cut five and a half inches by 10. So then you just layer six of your favorite colors together. So I picked this color palette for this particular flower. This is actually the most fun if you ask me. And then you just like a fan, the, we used to make fans in the old days. You just flip and turn and make the pleats all the way down to the end. As I'm doing this, I often talk to Holy Spirit and just ask him to give me wisdom. And I feel like my, my face is smiling when I'm doing this because I just think about how pretty this flower is gonna turn out and the person I'm gonna give it to, whatever they're going through, that I just pray that the Lord blesses them with the beauty of a flower that you can see always. So this was a little long, so I'm gonna just cut the rest off because it doesn't make another fold. If I do that one, it just kind of gets in the way. So then I take it and fold it in half. And I have already cut some tape, but if you just have basic scotch tape, I just cut that down the middle in half. And I kind of got them here. I'm just gonna put that down the middle. Well, people do this a lot of different ways. Some people will use string here because uh, then you can tie the flower to something or what have you. I just usually use tape because I never know what I'm gonna use these for and I won't know if I need a string. So then on the ends, you just kind of cut that rounded like this. Okay, so then you have those rounded ends like that. I'm just gonna trim that a little bit. Oh, oops. <laughs> and so now you're gonna begin making the flower. So you just kind of flay it out here a little bit. And if you can see this, I kind of stick one of my thumb, I gotta get one started here, bear with me. Okay, so see how you can get the first petal started here. You just take one thumb and you kind of rub it underneath to then use your fingers to flail out the bottom. So you pull this up kind of towards the middle. And as I do this, I think about how tender the Lord wants us to come to him. Just patient. If you tear one, don't worry about it. Think about the scars that are on your body that make you perfect. Flowers aren't perfect in nature either, but they're still beautiful. They still smell great. So think about that for yourself too as you're doing this and going through life. That it's, it's just a blessing. It is such a blessing what we have in life. No matter how hard, no matter the tears, no matter how long it takes me to find the next layer, think about that as you're going through a challenge, how beautiful and how blessed it is to sit in the hallway and wait on the Lord. How have, you, have you ever had something that you had to wait on and you were so frustrated about it in the beginning and then it bared fruit? I know I've definitely had a lot of that in my life that, you know, maybe you met someone that wasn't so kind three years ago and now the Lord brought them back into your life and they've changed and, you know, your relationship just blossomed again. So what a blessing for that time and that space that you had to then make your relationship more fruitful and the Lord just gives us that blessing. So we just give him all the praise and all the glory. So I'm about done here that soon I will have the finished product. And then when I get to the end, I can decide if I want to put, like sometimes I'll use a little pipe cleaner here like this. I'll use this other flower to show you. So it's just a pipe cleaner and I found, you know, just some plastic beads to string on the pipe cleaner to make it look pretty because this will go in the middle of the flower. So you could use a bigger bead here to really bring emphasis to the middle of the flower, depends on what you're using it for. So then once you get done, you'll kind of have a, a space there. On either side, you can put the pipe cleaner in. Let's see here, how we go. And then just push it down in. So then you can see there's a little sparkly thing in there now. And pull it tight. 
And then down at the bottom, you can tie it together. So this would make a cute little wrist corsage for someone, or like I said, you can tie it to these fun baskets or a gift bag that you're gonna give to someone. I would definitely tell them that they can untie it so you know they know that this little flower can be used for other things, you know, like giving them joy and that. So you can even kind of play with it a little more and fluff those tendrils and you know, just keep keep listening for the Lord and seeing his beauty in every day and every way. May God bless your day. Amen.